In this section, I will cover advanced features of QuickSight and provide my closing comments about the service. In this video, we'll specifically learn machine learning features, including forecasting, anomaly detection, and autonerity. Let's look at the dataset we'll use for this demo. It will be the RDU weather dataset, which we inputted in section 2.2. Now, in this demo, we do need an extra field that I'm calling season that will be added using this formula. So go and edit the data set and click on add calculated field and use this formula as shown in the slide. It's a very simple formula for each month range. I have picked the season, which includes summer, spring, fall, and winter. Once you do the formula, you'll see the results as a new column. Now we're ready to use this data and build a new analysis. Let's go to QuickSight. So I'm in the QuickSight. I have selected the following chart, which is a simple line chart, and created a simple chart, visual. And here I've used date as my x-axis with aggregation at the month level. Then for the value, I've used precipitation and I'm doing a sum, okay? And that's it, no color dimension. Once you have the chart built, now just click on this arrow, the V here at the extreme right, and say add forecast. And when you do that, you'll see the visual with the forecasted one. So it's pretty easy and straightforward. And you now see that it's forecasting for the future based on the past trends. Now keep in mind, to use this feature, you must have an enterprise account. Next feature we're going to look in ML Insights is the anomaly detection. For this, we're going to create a new visual. And for this visual, I'm going to use, again, a simple line chart with date as my x-axis with aggregation at the month level. And my value is the snowfall, and I'm doing an average. And I'm using color as my season. Now, for anomaly detection, what I'm going to do next is, once this, is, this chart is ready, I'm going to click on Insights. Okay and then click on Add Anomaly to my sheet. Now for this demo, I've already added that, as this takes a few minutes. So once you add the anomaly detection, you have to configure it. And to configure it, I've used the defaults of the configuration, which included the fields for analysis, date, snowfall, average, and season. And I just clicked on Save. You do have options you could change, which is including the scheduling and also the levels that you want to change, if you want to change. I have not changed any of this for this demo. I hit cancel, and that came back with one anomaly. Now, to understand this a little bit more as to what is it really trying to say, there is an option called Explore Anomalies, which is very effective. So click on that. And now you'll see the details of the various places where it thinks there is data anomalies. Next feature, we're going to look at auto narrative. So for auto narrative, I have another sheet which I will go through. What I did is first I created a vertical bar chart. And for this, I used season as my x axis. Value is precipitation sum, and then group color rain. Okay, so it shows the precipitation total for each season. Once I have this, now I'm going to click on insights. And you can see that it automatically came back with some English-like sentences about this data. Some of this may be useful, some of this may not be. So in this example, I'm Looking at this one, it says top three seasons, which have the highest precipitations. Now, this may be useful for some management to understand what the data is. So here, 
the easiest way to use this is just click on this plus button and that brings in the narrator right in your sheet. Now you have options to further customize this by clicking on Customize Narrator. And here you could change the conditions or the color as per your choice or add additional functions.